we are going to improvise over the 12 bar blues progression in B flat. We are going to use arpeggios and especially um, the half diminished arpeggios that when you use it and play it over the third degree or starting from the third degree of the dominant seven chord, you get a seven and nine sound. So if we are in B flat, so B flat C D D is the third degree of B flat B flat C D. All right. So if you play B flat on the bass and D half diminished, you get the seven and nine sound. The next chord in this blues progression is E flat. So you have here, you know, when you play E flat nine, you already have the G half diminished shape inside so E flat 7 and 9 is the base of E flat with G half diminished chord G is the third degree of E flat E flat F G the third degree same goes for F7 so if you play F7 F G A F G A A is the third degree of F and you have a half diminished arpeggio that you can play or chord that you can play over this chord all right now let's learn the three arpeggios then i'm going to show you a simple lick and i can show you also how to play it more advanced with a great uh, ornament which makes it much more beauty but also more complicated technique technique wise and then we'll combine everything everything to play an improvisation over the 12 bar blues let's start with the shapes so we are in b flat third degree is d and now we are learning d half diminished arpeggio d and f on the fifth string a flat on the fourth string c and d on the third string F and A flat on the second string, C on the first string. You can do the same for E flat here. Then I start the same shape over here. You have E flat, G, B flat, D flat, F and G, B flat, D flat and F. And you can start it from E flat and then G half diminished arpeggio this is the sound now let's see the second position that I'm showing you today it's for the fifth string so we start on E flat and the arpeggio starts from the note of G here so G and B flat on the fourth string D flat on the third F and G on the second string B flat and D flat on the first string same to go for F F and then we start the A half diminished from the fourth string A C on the same string on the fourth string E flat on the third string G and A on the fourth string C and E flat on the first string. There are a lot of methods that you can learn how to improvise with arpeggios. I'm showing them all in my complete arpeggio course. But here I want to give you for each shape a phrase that you can play in a very simple way or you can add a trill, an ornament to decorate it and to play it much more beautiful and then like a lego we will connect the four pieces together with a nice melodic idea to have a complete improvisation over the blues let's start with the first lick the very simple way to play it is like that all right i'm playing the half diminished arpeggio of B flat but I'm starting from the higher note from the top string from the C string from the E string and I am adding a note to this arpeggio and notice B flat 
the root of the chord. So instead of playing what I showed you before, the half diminished shape, I'm adding B flat, which is the root. I'm adding the root, the arpeggio, and the root again. So let's do it together. One, two, three, four. Soon I'm going to show you how to decorate this phrase with the trills and ornament that will make it much more interesting. But first, let's learn four phrases in a simple uh, way. So the second phrase is over E half uh, diminished, E7 and 9, which is G half diminished. So I'm just going to play the arpeggio. Very simple. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. The next phrase is going to be a little bit longer. We are going to play E flat with G half diminished arpeggio and combining it with the first lick that we learn here that I have added the root. So now we are going to get this. E and G half diminished. And then I'm playing it with the root of E flat. Finish on the root. In time, one, two, three, four. Very simple. And a very simple A half diminished, descending arpeggio of A from here. I finish on F because it's over the chord of F. One, two, three, four. So we have four phrases, let's hear them over the blues progression. I just resolve it, you know, to the next chord. Same here. That's all. Alright, so I just added C minor 7 uh, arpeggio, let's learn it too. I start from C, E flat, G, B flat and C, all right? And then E flat, G and B flat, C and E flat. This is the C minor 7 arpeggio. Now let's make it more complicated and fun and add the trill. The first phrase is going to become all right much more interesting right so the trill is i play down for the first note and then hammer on on the tone above and up for b flat so instead of i'm going to play all right b flat hammer on and up so together all right, this is the first of the phrase. Down, hammer on, up, down, up, down. Now, I'm going to connect these two notes, these two notes, chromatically. So, all right, so you have chromatic movement between these two notes and for this note after I played the down stroke again hammer on and up down hammer on up it's the same trill we are going to do the same trill all this lesson down hammer on up all right This is easy. Down, hammer on, up, down, up, down, up, down, hammer on, up. 
Sonata will make, make it a little bit more complicated. I want to play this part double time faster so I can land on the last note on B flat. Down, hammer on, up, down, up, down, up, down, hammer on, up, down. The next phrase is E flat over E flat 7. So instead of playing, we are going to play. <laughs> nice, huh? I'm going to play, I finish on the note of F. So now the same trill. Instead of playing this, I'm starting with down, hammer on, up. Same thing. Down on the second string is the same and on the third string again I have this trill from the my index hammer on with my ring up and it's like I did it I did in the previous phrase now it's like it's become faster because I want to get here so this is a little bit tricky down up down down up down down, hammer on, up, down. And I finish with the phrase on the note F this time. Not on the root, but on the note F. Which is part of the... You have the note F in the arpeggio, right? It's part of the half diminished, it's the 9. So... This is the phrase. You can then finish it on B flat, F B flat, so it can be Let's move to the third phrase. It was So we started the arpeggio in a simple way And now We are adding the trills F up for the note of E flat, hammer on on the note F. So you have down, up, hammer on, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. This is a great exercise. You can practice it. And then I continue with the arpeggio and do the same thing I did in the first phrase. Connect the three with the nine <coughs> chromatically. Down, up, hammer on, up. And I finish here and resolve to the note. It's a note of B flat. So down, up, hammer on, down. Continue with the arpeggio chromatically and from the note F I do the trill again down hammer on up down and I resolve to the chord don't note of D all together from the top and the last phrase is over the chord of F and the simple phrase was that I can resolve to B flat but now I'm going to do this <laughs> so you have trill for every string so it will be a good exercise for you to master this trill let's see it I start you already know it down and then up hammer on down we had it in the previous uh, phrase and then same thing but now I start with down, up, hammer on, down alright now from the third string I start from my index down, hammer on, up so and you can play the next string already so down up hammer on down down up hammer on down 
down, number one, up, down. And the last one, down on the note of A, hammer on, on the note of B flat, up on A and F. So, all together. You can finish it on the note of B flat. Down, up, hammer on, down. Down, up, hammer on, down. Down, hammer on, up, down. Down, hammer on, up, down. And you finish it. So now when you have the four main uh, licks for our etude, you can play them simple or you can play it advanced, depends on your skills and on your level of playing. Now you are missing only the musical way to connect the phrases so you can create a beautiful solo. So I'm going to show you a very simple idea that I show in my blues course, one of the ideas that I show in this course, and it's connecting uh, degrees of the chords in a chromatic way. So. We are in B flat, it's a blues in B flat, and from B flat to D, B flat is the first degree, D is the third degree, we can connect, it, connect them chromatically through the two. One, two, chromatically to the three. All right? Yeah, you know this blues? All right, so you connect the one with the three chromatically. Another degree that you can always connect, which sounds great, is 1 to the 7. So if you are in B, you can go down to the 7. So 1 to the 3, or 1 to the 7. I will do both. I will play it in a simple way. Second, you resolve to the root, to the third, and the seven from the one to the seven now you play the third phrase and I resolve it to one of the notes of D which is the third and again I will chromatically connect the third with the fifth all right so this is always sounds great it's a very musical and very melodic idea to connect degrees of the chords chromatically and I will go down to C minor the next chord by thirds you can do it you know chromatically with thirds it works great so you have F and D D flat and E C and E flat all right so I had I was here Connect the third to the fifth goes to C minor. Now I will just play the three C minor arpeggio with triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I start the last phrase. Resolve to B flat. And I show it in the course about the blues. You always it always sounds great to finish a chorus in the blues with like a typical ending. Again, I connect the three to the fifth. It's leading us to the ending. And I finish with two chords. F sharp, seven and nine, and B flat, six and nine. You know, it's just nice, instead of playing F7 to B flat, which is the obvious, to play half tone above F, which is F sharp. It always sounds great. So let me play for you the complete etude in a simple way. Second phrase, connecting the notes chromatically to the fifths and to the seven and the third phrase connecting the third 
to the fifth, going down to C minor, triplet, last phrase, going up to F. One, two, three, four. Now, would you like to try this with the advanced way to play the phrases? The connected phrases that we play chromatically from the one to the three and so on are the same, but the phrases are going to be with the trills. Let's check it out. We start with the first phrase. Connecting chromatically. Third phrase. Going down to C minor. Finishing the same. One, two, three, and. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, please leave me a comment in the comments area below so I'll know about it. And also, I would love to answer your questions if you have any. And a big credit to Eddie Pollack who built this great guitar and this guitar which I really love to play over. Thank you, Eddie. This is an arch top guitar that you can connect to an amplifier and have a great uh, warm side sound. Or you can also play it acoustically and have a very loud sound just like a gypsy jazz guitar. Thank you Eddie and thank you, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.